Hey guys, it's turkey season. I'm trying to shoot my first Osceola turkey and it's been a struggle. So far, all I've been able to do is call in Jake's and Jake's and more Jake's. And all the Jake's do is beat up my decoys and the Toms are always end up and they always seem to just skirt around me. They roost right over there. There's a big canopied oak hammock. This is kind of an overgrown field that's turning into a woods. And they fly down from that oak hammock and they follow their hens through these paths, these cow paths, and out into that more open pasture over there. And so I think my plan is just to sit in my pop-up blind here in the morning, let the toms filter through with their hens naturally. I'm going to try not to barely call at all. I'm probably not going to set out any decoys because I really don't want to attract this big mob of jakes that keeps following me. And uh, we'll see what happens, hopefully. We can just get a Tom following his hens through here. But it's beautiful. And uh, we're gonna try and get these hen up Toms. Just takes a little bit of time and patience. I'm trying my new strategy. I haven't been calling at all. And uh, I got a couple of Toms in the woods here. I'm guessing they're with their hens because they've been gobbling quite a bit. I got one lone hen decoy about yards that way so if the birds come from this way even if they get on up you can still hopefully get a shot off but it's hard hunting to end up gobblers but we'll see what happens today First Osceola, let's go. Oh. It's a beautiful morning out here. The sun's coming up and God was good to me today. I've been struggling to try and shoot a Tom and this is my first Osceola turkey ever. They were all henned up and it was really hard to, to shoot them. But today I just was quiet and I figured out where they like to go in the morning. And I just kind of sat there. And uh, luckily I had this lone hen out because otherwise I don't think they would have came over here but those hens kind of ran by and checked it out and then skirted off and these toms are following it right over here and that 44 yard shot was a long shot, longer than I like to take, but I mean, I've been desperate trying to get close to these toms. Luckily with TSS and a red dot, I mean, I couldn't have done it without TSS and a red dot. And this Mossberg 520 gauge, it's a simple, cheap gun but with the red dot and TSS, I mean, it's super deadly. I couldn't have made that shot without it probably. So really happy with that. Really happy with how everything turned out. Feels good to shoot a beautiful Tom like this. And it's gonna be 90 today here in South Florida. So time to get this thing on ice and clean it. And uh, hope you guys have a great one. Thanks for watching.